Welcome to Songkran. Okay, hold on. Before I show you more, first, I just want to quickly explain what Songkran is and why it's celebrated. Songkran is a festival celebrating the traditional Thai New Year, and they do it in a very interesting way. In Thailand, people believe water is spiritually and physically purifying. So traditionally for Songkran, people would pour water over little statues of Buddha as a way of bringing in good luck. But over the years, this washing away of bad energy with water translated to tossing it on each other to now it is celebrated all over the country with big <laughs> water fights and people get water guns and people arm themselves with buckets and water is thrown everywhere. So this year for Songkran I met up with my buddy Chris aka Sea Lao Travel and we hit the streets of Bangkok to celebrate the largest water fight in the world. We just arrived in Sea Lao and this is one of the craziest places to experience the water fight of Songkran. We're still dry right now but I think that's gonna change very soon. Let's go get wet. Our first day was insane, but this was just the beginning because here in Thailand, Songkran is celebrated for three days in different parts of the country. Some people celebrate it at different times, but here in Bangkok, it's celebrated every year from April 13th to April 15th. And there are a few designated areas where people gather in very large groups and the main streets are blocked off from traffic so you can walk freely and everyone squirts each other with water guns. And these areas that are very popular are Silom, which is where we went the first day. And the next day, we went to a very popular area called Khao San Road. All right, here we go, guys. Day two out in Bangkok. Yesterday, we hit Silom, and today, we're hitting Khao San Road. It's very quiet right now, but I think just over there, it's about to get crazy. You guys ready? Yeah. Woo! not only crazy water gun fights that take place during Songkran, there's also a lot of parties and nightlife is thriving during this weekend. One of the largest events that take place is called Siam. And this is a music festival that brings in DJs from all around the world. And I actually had the opportunity to connect with one of them, to collaborate and film for him. His name is F Word. And I got to go on stage and film the crowd. And this is what it looked like. <laughs> So that's what Songkran is like, from my perspective at least. And that brings us to the end of this video. There's a dog barking over here, so I'm gonna wrap this up. But I just wanna take this chance to thank you for watching. If you're not already, I would appreciate it if you click that subscribe button, maybe leave a like. And also, just a little side note to anyone who has been following my journeys from the beginning, Songkran, this weekend, marks exactly two years from when I started traveling. 
So this is a very special event for me, not only because it's so much fun, but this is when I first started traveling. So Bangkok will always have a very special place in my heart, but specifically Songkran was the start of everything for me. So it was really cool coming back here to celebrate it. Hopefully I'll be coming back for many more years. I'm thinking next time I want to experience in Chiang Mai because that's a city in the north. And although it's a similar celebration, it's a different vibe up there. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, I'd appreciate it if you click that subscribe button and follow along as I'll be creating plenty more videos of different adventures around the world. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace. One. Welcome to Songkran. <laughs> Alright, what you gotta do is you gotta just like go into Ankh- Oh! Oh my god! That touched my brain. That was right in my earlobe.